Greetings YouTube, this is Mike Haley 7 coming to you from Willow Spring, North Carolina on this beautiful November 4th, I believe it's the 4th, 2019, 7.52 a.m. and I'm on my way to work. <laughs> Sorry for the sniffing, but it's cold. My uh, thermometer here says it's 38 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll be proud of me. I'm wearing my full gear. I got on my boots. I got on my leather pants. On all my stuff. So the only thing I don't have is um, impact resistant pads within the pants. I gotta go get my FXRG pants and put them on. The only problem with those is I can't wear pants under them. You know what I mean? I just gotta wear them. A little bit more of a rigmarole. Because then I have to pack pants, schlep them into work, and then change out of the pants into the other pants. You know what I mean? Laziness. I'm getting a little bit too fat for the pants that I've got because I'm still fighting the fat. Anyway. Today's topic is about patterns. This morning I was on the instant messengers with a, a friend of mine who is going through some some relationship issues and it made me think about when I first got divorced in 2012 I was I was in the dating market again after about seven months of just staying out of it and I decided I was going to go on Match, I think it was Match, not Match, it was uh, Plenty of Fish and OK Cupid, I think it was, and something else I can't recall at the moment, but I went on the dating websites and I was looking around at different profiles and I was very honest about my myself, you know, lazy, I work hard at work but I'm lazy at home. You know, all my personality traits. I put my left turn signal on because this truck was up my ass a moment ago. Anyway, I would look at profiles and I would see some lady all completely dolled up, you know, super duper makeup, super sexy photo, and I'd be like, next! That's a type that I don't want. Sexually aggressive and controlling, gonna cheat on you. Nope, nope, nope. Demanding, nope, nope, nope. I saw another profile, was a similarly kind of beautiful lady in workout clothes, and said, I run eight miles, of nope. Another one was I'm a type A person. Nope. Another one. I own my own business and I work all the time. Nope. Anything that smacked of what I had already been, I I deleted it, I swiped, whatever. Nope. I nope. Because I started to realize I had a pattern. I, I was attracted to uh, aggressive women forward women, sexually aggressive, whatever type women, women that would chase me kind of thing. And I realized that that comes with a dark side that I don't need. And I, I noticed, you know, the kinds of patterns that people have, they keep finding themselves in situations and they might think that the situation comes comes to them. But I, I've noticed that a lot of the situations I have found myself in, if I've done some thinking about my preferences and my choices, that I'm the reason for the thing that happened. It's kind of like, uh, 
if you see this guy with with a bunch of baguettes sticking out of a paper bag and he's wearing a French beret and he's got a bottle of French Chablis or whatever <coughs> and he's wearing one of them fancy frou-frou neck scarfs don't be surprised when the guy starts speaking French to you and starts wanting to go to Paris if you see a guy on the beach and he's got on that you know that that skin suit and he's holding the surfboard you don't get surprised when the guy loves to be out in the ocean on the waves like I want you to stay home with me what are you talking about you met him on the beach that's where he goes so if something keeps happening to you over and over and over again with the people that you choose, you got to choose different people. And it's not easy because, you know, the fundamental attractiveness of people, it's, it's difficult sometimes to overcome, you know, what, what you like and reprogram yourself. And so if, if a person is toxic and hurting you, and you keep allowing that person to be part of your life in any way at all. Is that person to blame or are you to blame? I mean, I sound like my mother right now. You are the reason for all your own problems. If you crate up a jackass and you move the jackass across the planet, when you uncrate it, it's still a jackass. That's my mom. <laughs> she said that about my brother. And it's true. You take your troubles with you. Moving doesn't change it. Changing jobs doesn't change it. Whatever you do externally is not going to change your life patterns. You have to change inside yourself. If you're unhappy about situations, change the situation. Change yourself and the people that you choose. If you're in a toxic relationship and the person keeps hurting you and you keep reading their emails and you keep taking their phone calls, it's kind of like you're picking up a hammer and smacking yourself in the face with it and going, why does this hurt? Well, it's because you're smacking yourself in the face with a hammer. Stop it. Got to get that stop it spray. Psh. I mean, I, I am by no means without flaw. <laughs> I am nothing but flaw. However, I at least recognize that the flaw is uh, something that I have control over because I can control the choices I make. Same thing with uh, the stuff you focus on in life. Like, for a while I was focusing on politics a lot, getting all upset. And I stopped doing it because it wasn't doing me any good. I mean, knowing about the crazy shit going on in the world and getting all upset about it doesn't change the crazy shit that's going on. It just makes me miserable. So I don't deal with it. And somebody might say, well, you know, if everybody did it like you, then you know, nobody would take responsibility and then the government could do whatever it wanted. Well, okay. The government kind of already does whatever it wants, first off. And second, I'm not telling you to do it. I'm telling you that I'm doing it. Everything that I do is what I choose. I'm not saying that everybody else should do what I do. And the the brand hatred thing. You know, people who have Harleys hate on people who don't. People who don't have Harleys hate on people who do. People with Indians hate Harleys. People with Harleys hate Indians. People with Hondas hate Harleys and Indians. Whatever the case may be. People get all upset about the dumbest things. So here I am allowing myself to get upset about it when somebody makes a nasty comment on, on, uh, on the YouTubes, you know. Oh, you ride a Honda, you're, you're a traitor to America or you're a fag, or whatever they would come at you with. It's a piece of shit. Why am I getting upset about somebody else's stupidity? 
It's one of those things you got to remind yourself about all the time. If shit makes you unhappy, don't don't let that shit in your life. And that's my words of wisdom for today. Deep thoughts by Mike Handy. If you drop your keys in lava, let them go, man, because they're gone. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you later.